and welcome back to my youtube channel i'm back with another video this video is going to be a little different from the ones i've already been doing i'm going to share with you some golden habits that every successful artist follows you can listen to them while you watch me make a time-lapse drawing of chris hemsworth so let's get right into the video <music> habits, I'd like to tell you something about myself. I started drawing ever since I learned to hold a pencil. It was a hobby at first, but for the last two years, it has been one of my profession. Now, not every person is seeking to become a professional artist. Some people want to keep it as a hobby, and in my opinion, that is a good idea as well. But if you want to take your art to the next level, I'm sure this video is going to help you incorporate those golden habits into your lifestyle that will make the path of becoming a professional artist much easier for you. So the very first habit is creating art consistently. Now this sounds pretty basic, but it is something you must do if you are serious about your art. Creating art consistently not only makes you an organized person, but it also improves your art to a great degree. Now if you ask me, I suggest you to draw daily, but I understand if some of you are students or you have a 9 to 5 job. You can set a goal for drawing twice, thrice or four times a week. It's up to you. But what you need to do is stick to that goal and draw whatever you want to. Choose some random references, experiment with them and draw. Art is a combination of both creativity and skill. Skills need constant input in order to improve. So drawing once a week or once a month will get you nowhere. Now if you're someone who has been following me since the beginning of my Instagram account, you might remember that in December 2018, I did a little portrait series for 10 days in which I drew various celebrities on a small size sketch paper. Now those drawings were not that good, but they really helped me in becoming a consistent worker. And that definitely improved my art in the long run. The second habit is focus on creating instead of comparing. Now to be honest, at some point I have been a victim of this too. We tend to compare ourselves with artists who are already experts and have polished their skills. But what we don't notice is that they have put innumerable amount of hours into their work and improving their skill. But I won't actually ask you to not compare your art at all with other artists. I'm going to tell you about this more when we move on to our fourth habit. You need to focus on creating your own art. You need to improve your skill and find your art style, for which you need constant working and experimenting. You can however look at other people's art to take inspiration and that's where our third rule kicks in. Don't copy, take inspiration. Looking at others' work can give you motivation and you can actually learn from other artists a lot who have several years of experience under their belt already. But here's the thing. Don't let their work put you in a tight spot. You can take all the inspiration you want, you can take some creative ideas as well, but don't copy them or don't get overwhelmed. Incorporate that inspiration and creativity into creating your own art. With the passage of time, while you work consistently on your own art, you'll definitely reach a point where someone else will take inspiration from you. So don't let other artworks on the social media get the best of you. So the fourth and very important habit is track your improvement. The comparison I discussed in the second rule comes in action here. Now you need to compare your artwork not with someone else's work, but with your own older work. And here's how. Now that you'll be working consistently and creating art on a regular basis, you will automatically have a large volume of artwork to compare and track your improvement. And because you were consistent, you definitely will have improved. So basically, this is a strategy for you to do smart work instead of hard work. Consistent working in the right direction leads you to guaranteed improvement. For this purpose, you can take on the challenge of redrawing some of your older work. That is probably the easiest way to track your improvement. The last habit is very important for your own peace of mind. Believe in yourself. This one is pretty self-explanatory. You need to trust yourself. Trust your work and only then you are able to put your 100% effort. And this is something that is applicable to everyone's life. Now this is a cycle. Once you incorporate the habit of being a consistent worker, you start to work on a daily basis. When you start to work on a daily basis, you have a great volume of your artwork. Once you have a greater volume of your artwork, 
you can easily compare your current work to your older drawings. And in this process, you automatically develop confidence in not only your artwork, but yourself as well. Pack all your fears and throw them outside the window. And work with peace of mind because that should be your priority. So that's it for these 5 habits. I hope they helped you. Let me know in the comment section if there is something else you want me to discuss. I'll be more than happy to help you. I'll see you with another video next week. Till then, bye.